in the first time the great hyperspace core was found. With it came the gift of interstellar travel, and the Outer Rim trade routes were established, uniting the galaxy in peace. Four thousand years passed before the second core was discovered on a desert planet. Pain and bloodshed flowed in its wake. But the exiles returned to their homeworld, Higara. A young woman led them across the galaxy, and it is she who will lead them again. Her name is Karen Sajet. This is the story of the end time. We know this because the third core has been found. Under the dark influence of this core, the Taidan have risen under a new leader, a Vagar warrior lord named Makan. He calls himself the Sajukar, the Chosen One. Many systems have already fallen under his shadow, and his eyes are set upon Higara. Deep inside the great derelict at Tanis, construction of a new mothership is underway. The pride of Figara. Once more, the exiles will face the coming darkness. This is Fleet Command. Stand by for hyperspace core transfer. Containment unit online. All power signatures in the green. Primary couplings released. Trajectory is good. The hyperspace core is away. This is Tannis Control. We have visual contact with the core. Proceed with transfer. Trajectory and alignment confirmed. Take it to 115 and initiate capture procedures. recognizes the core and confirms signal lock. Fleet Command, online. Mothership status report. Engineering, online. Stand by to initiate engine sequence. Test complete. All standard drives are operational. Navigation online. The mothership is standing by. Course deleted. This is Fleet Intelligence. Our task is to analyze sensor data and generate mission objectives. 
Before launching the mothership, we must conduct a series of trials to ensure all critical systems are operational. Throughout these trials, the mothership will be running with a minimal crew and will remain docked with Tannis. Once these trials are complete, we will launch the mothership and test the hyperspace core. The first trial will test the resourcing system. A resource collector is standing by. Begin retrieval of resource containers at this location. Hello everybody, welcome to some Homeworld 2. I said in after Homeworld Remastered, I'd probably do, be doing this pretty fast. Uh, this is a game that's kind of near and dear to my heart in, in a lot of ways because uh, it was like I think one of the second or third LPs I've ever done for YouTube for not the remastered, obviously. Resourcing systems fully operational. Trial successful. We will now test the mothership's production capabilities. Begin construction of a fighter facility subsystem. Anyways, uh, so yeah, it's one of the first LPs I've ever done. You can actually still see it. It's on. I still have it on YouTube. Uh, it production doesn't exactly underway. sound the greatest uh, because my mic quality and uh, YouTube's video quality and a whole bunch of crap was was really not that great back in the day. Uh, but you know, it's still up there, and it's still yeah, it's it, it's it's pretty okay. Uh, the, the video I did, but you know, I'm oh, kind of glad I'm doing there. it again in like a new, like five years later or whatever. And to see what this, uh, what the remastered version is all about. So if you watched me do, uh, Homeworld 1 Remastered, you'd know by the end I wasn't exactly a big fan of it. Uh, mainly because it was based upon the Homeworld 2 engine. And it had a bunch of like little AI bugs and things like that. So this is based, at, uh, Homeworld Remastered is based upon Homeworld 2. So in theory, this should be much Mother better. Mothership fighter facility complete. Fighter facility subsystem complete. Engineering is online and ready for fighter production. To test basic combat capabilities, construct an interceptor squadron. So production underway. The golden rule uh, of Homeworld 2 is that uh, there's apparently a lot of uh, auto scaling. In my first run of the game, I, I knew there was some auto scaling, but I didn't know it was like, like the kind of auto scaling where it makes a direct counter to your fleet. Um, I do not know if uh, that is actually a problem necessarily anymore because in Homeworld 1, the auto scaling just made a bunch of assault frigates. Uh, and so it didn't actually make a direct counter to my fleet per se, although maybe I thought that's what the direct counter was. Mother I don't know, it's, it's a major complaint that everybody has with this game. Interceptor squadron. Complete. So it'll be interesting to see how it's maybe changed in this Stand version. Stand by to begin combat trials. <laughs> Perimeter station Chimera will assist by providing target drones. The drones are located here. Use the interceptors to destroy the target drones. So, as you can see, one of the things, the changes they did in uh, in, in Homeworld 2 is uh, when you make one fighter, you actually make five. Uh, it's just it counts as one group together. I guess everybody really liked the uh, the concept of the the fighters being very beautiful and kind of like dancing around when they fight things. I'm gonna make them aggressive so they attack when they kill us a little bit faster. Um, I mean, it's 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 a change. Uh, not everybody liked it apparently, but uh, I was I was pretty okay with it. So like, uh, I have five out of five in this group, and so if I uh, if something gets shot down, I can just dock them and they'll become a full group again. Group one reports victory. Attention, Tannis Control. This is Perimeter Station Chimera. We have multiple unidentified units detected. Signal indicates Baker Bomber Strike Force. This is a scramble alert. All pilots to their stations. Chimera Base, this is Blue Leader. Enemy units locked in, awaiting orders. Blue Leader, yeah, he's green. Tannis is under attack. All forces to combat alert. 
this is not a test. Interceptors have been launched from Chimera. The enemy must be eliminated. Order all interceptors to destroy the Vager bombers. That's it? I only get two Ready. groups? Group one okay. Designated. Whatever. Like group to battle positions. Uh, let's see. Let's put you on. Let's put you on defensive. Aggressive tactics, though, for both. So, you can already tell, kind of, the if you've seen Homeworld 1 Remastered, or Homeworld 1. Uh, you know what? When I talk about Homeworld 1 and 2, uh, for the context of most of this LP, just know I'm talking about mostly, um, like, the, the original games, not necessarily what they did with Remastered. And then when I talk about Remastered, then I'm talking about Remastered, obviously. Chimera Station is offline. What? They didn't even get hit! The Vager have breached the Tannis perimeter. The mothership is under attack. We cannot stay here any longer. Emergency launch underway. Please cruise. Stand by for emergency launch. Roger that, Tannis. Primary couplings released. The mothership has cleared Tannis. We are away. Multiple enemy reinforcements detected. Estimated time before contact? Two minutes. Begin construction of attack bombers immediately. Bombers will be required to defend the mothership. I'll just make one group. Production underway. Group one copies. So, Chimera Station, uh, station is offline. Why? They did not even get hit. What the fuck? Group one copy. I'm gonna actually group blame one. the retardedness of the AI, because they... Yeah, it, it's just, they, they didn't, they just died immediately. They didn't get, they didn't even get to Chimera Station. What the fuck? Mothership. Well, that's already a good sign. Group one. Because I remember it always took at least a little bit of damage in, in Homeworld 2, so that shit was actually plausible. Like, what, someone, like, tripped over, like, uh... Someone tripped over something and, uh... Like a cable. Alright. There's nothing left out here. Supporting friendly units. Acknowledged. Group 2 designated. Where's my fighter facility? I don't know how to really view all the... But there you go. It's not really under attack. Two reporting. Uh, let me make this guy aggressive too. I could good he's aggressive. Even though I didn't really tell him to be that to begin with. So we're not gonna build too many ships before the next mission, just because we want it to spawn less crap. As I said, I, I don't know how how bad it is in this game, but uh, well, there's our there's our fighter limits. It does not take into account how much money you have uh, for the next mission, though. Collector awaiting orders. Docking with mothership. Docking with mothership. Group one standing by. Should Price be okay. Coordinates locked in. Oh, hyperspace good. Priority alert. The Vega are using hyperspace gates. If they are not destroyed, they are able to deploy reinforcements through the mountain. These gates must be destroyed. Sorry, Fleet Commander, can't hear you. The sound of hyperspace is really fucking Docking loud. One standing by. Strike group to battle position. Group two reporting. Strike group prepare. Luckily, for bombers are extremely effective against us, but it looks like uh, I don't know if it matters. Group one. Oh, so I just have these guys set on uh, aggressive, and it doesn't even matter. Group two. Group one standing by. What does like the mothership can handle itself? I'm sure. What, what is this even that they're attacking with? They're just kind of flying around. They're not even attacking anything. Oh, wait, wait, they rammed my mothership. All right. Gate destroy. Destroy all the remaining hyperspace gates. Oh, well, yeah, okay, Tannis base did take some damage. So, you know, they, they get to be on fire. Group one cut. I find that perfectly acceptable. Group one. Is, is the Pride of Hagar even shooting back? 
I guess it kind of is. I can't just, I'm, I'm just allowed to take out their, uh, their hyperspace gates. Now, I will say in, in Homeworld 2, formations is not a big thing. So they kind of neutered it in this game, and th which is why in the remastered version initially it wasn't a really big thing. So, But it seems to be here now, which is kind of interesting. It says that they're in Delta formation, though. Let me try like, making formation X formation. Yeah, they actually, they actually do it. And and the fleet the fleet's actually combined here. Strike group breaking up. So what do they do if I just break them up? They just go back to the Delta formation. All right. Group one reporting. Strike group to battle positions. Group two. Strike group attack order confirmed. Group one. So this guy's almost dead over here. I don't know what happened to this guy. That that is the most awkward kind of turning around for these ships I've ever seen. So. I'm gonna say that the AI is probably still the same. Like, what the fuck is that? It's the least fluid combat I've ever seen. You know, just just watching these fighters fight, I can literally see the lines of code that they took to write it. Long-range sensors have detected multiple enemy signals converging on Tannis. All ships initiate docking procedures and stand by for hyperspace. base has been destroyed. The Vagar have launched a massive invasion. The Garan outposts are falling all across the inner rim. The crew of the mothership is making an emergency departure, and planetary defense systems are standing by. Before we can mount a counterattack, we must rendezvous with the mothership's crew. We will exit hyperspace in the shadow of the Angel Moon. A rally point has been established at this location. Prepare for enemy contact. The mothership is on its way. We're going to make it. Bishop 1 to all transports. Report status. Bishop 2, standing by. This is Bishop 3. We've taken some hits. Two bulkheads down. We'll be alright. Bishop 4, standing by. Bishop 5, standing by. Bishop 6, reporting unidentified contacts. Get ready for company. This is the Angel Moon? I guess that's a girl over there. Hyperspace jump successful. The core is operating at full capacity. We made it. We have reached the Hagaran system. Vega forces are being reported in all sectors. They will know we have arrived. Six crew transports are inbound to dock with the mothership. A Vega carrier has been detected in the area. The transports are under attack and require immediate assistance. 
At least four transports must dock with the mothership to meet minimum crew requirements. Strike All right, we're gonna start off by making a crap ton of interceptors. Maybe there's like four groups. Production underway. Because I kind of warped into this mission. Recommend construction of additional resource collectors to increase harvesting efficiency. That's not a bad idea. I'll get like. Uh, Production underway. How much do they cost? Like 400 each. I'll get like. Production three. underway. They double as our repair unit for this game, so and not a bad idea to get them. Group one. As already as it is, I'm already noticing a, a, more than a couple flaws, but uh, let, let's let's not let's not dwell on that so much right now. And let's dwell more upon the fact that uh, well, like more of the homeworld two story. So you can see that there's a bit of inspiration from it, this game. This game, let's be honest, it's completely the story is based upon homeworld. Uh, uh, the homeworld one story. They tried to essentially remake it, but homeworld. One was more of an underdog story, so it's weird that they tried to kind of recreate that, seeing as we won and we took over the home world. Uh, so it's it's kind of strange in that in its own right. And like a lot of these missions, like this crew transport thing, is based upon I guess the cryo trays. So you kind of think to yourself, what the fuck? Uh, but whatever. All right, let's make uh, maybe a couple more bombers. Actually, yeah, actually that's all the interceptors we need. Production underway. We'll make the resource collector one Group resource one, collector. We don't need that many, actually. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop One is safe. It should be actually all we need. I, and I, I know I'm eventually gonna need bombers to attack. I think the carrier, but is the carrier like just going for me right now? Ah. Oh. Group two reporting. I mean, I I think we could just kind of come after him, but I don't I don't know if we want to be doing that right now. Actually, I should be I should be harvesting. Why am I not doing that? In. Group two copies. Group one copies. They don't have any like actual assault Group enemies things by. right now, so. Defensive perimeter set. For some reason, some of these ships are set as passive. Once again, I don't know why mothership. it does that. Because uh, this mother ship is passive, I guess. A sharp. It should be a defensive and aggressive kind of a thing. Very odd game. Standing by. Resources locked in. Group one copies. Just gonna watch the fights go. These ships are very slow. The interceptors were supposed to be Bomber faster than that. Complete. So generally in this game, the, the the kind of ships we want to be making is ones that are very flexible and well-rounded. Um, although interceptors don't really fit that bill because they'll just get fucking shot down by, like I think like the third or fourth mission. By literally anything. This is the most awkward space battles I've ever seen. Crew transport docked. Subsystem and engineering personnel transferring. The mothership now has additional construction capabilities. Combat facility available for construction. Production underway. Group one standing by. Bomber squadron complete. The Vega carrier is launching reinforcements. Use bombers to destroy the carrier's fighter facility. This will prevent it from sending further reinforcements. Threat eliminated. One reporting. Transport Bishop 2 is safe. Group 1 copies. So my mothership's gonna be fine for the most part. Actually, let me let me let me not aggro them. Group one. Let me just let them go. All right. Apparently, he was holding out on us. So. Like they don't even care that I'm destroying them. That that was actually always the case. So I, I can't say that's a part of this game. Their AI just literally doesn't care about my fighters usually. Strike group to valve position. I actually finished that guy up. Strike group from air for assault. Can you, can you take this guy up? Take the damage, please. Group one reports victory. Bomber squadron complete. So we're trying to tar target the subsystem. Except these bombers are retarded. Like they're not even doing like any kind of like fighter formation. Trying to do exactly what the game says, and then. Group one. Okay. 
Yeah, we're just getting finishing off these guys. Let's say who's who needs Threat most. Eliminated. Transport Bishop Three is safe. Strike group reports hot. Vager fighter facility destroyed. Group two standing by. The carrier can no longer build reinforcements. Hyperspace signature detected. The Vager are using frigates to attack the transports. Some appear to be equipped with heavy anti-fighter weaponry. Group two. That would be, I think, the torpedo Strike frigates. Group under enemy attack. Corvette subsystem corvette complete. Facility. Complete gunship corvettes now available for construction. These ships are effective when used against fighter class vessels. Group one. We recommend using gunships to defeat the Vega bombers attacking our transports. That's actually not a bad idea. Production to make like two groups of that. And then interceptors officially just became useless, so. Hostile contact. Group one reporting. Group two copies. We kind of need to save that guy though. Standing by. After this guy is done though. There you go. Group to battle positions. Bishop five is okay. We just need to save Bishop four. Hey. Okay. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop five is safe. Why can't I target these guys? I I can't even select them. Receiving transmission from Hagarin Defense Grid. Allied forces are arriving. Group two. It didn't even let me try. I know it's a scripted thing, but it's weird that it didn't even let me try. Pride of Higara, this is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Thank goodness you've arrived, I couldn't attack those ships. I still can't attack them. <laughs> of Captain Soban, we should be able to save the rest of the transports. Group 2 reports enemy contact. Pulsar gunships now available for construction. These ships are effective when used against Corvette class vessels. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop 4 is safe. Group 2. Group 2 reporting. Transport Bishop 4 is sustaining by. critical damage. Send interceptors immediately to defend Bishop 4. Well, I literally group cannot do anything running. against these guys. I literally cannot tar- I can't even focus them. <laughs> I can't- I can focus these guys. Threat eliminated. Transport Bishop 6 is safe. Well, thank God I could help you guys, Captain Soban. Group 1 reporting. Docking with Mothership. Group 2 standing by. Group two. Oh, I have group more bomb. I have another bomber copy. and interceptor. Copy. Group one reinforced. Docking with mothership. Reporting. Group two reinforced. Uh, you guys might as well just go attack that. Engage capital ship. Group one reporting. Roger. To be honest, I don't think we need interceptors anymore. I think gunships are fine. Do we just mine up the entire map? Strike group receiving fire. Oh no, resource collectors are still collecting resources. Alright, we're gonna retire these guys. We're not even gonna use interceptors anymore. Alright, that's it. Retirement confirmed. Group two. What the hell is this guy? Well, they're still attacking that guy, so. Group two copies. Drawing heavy fire. Group two. Because we use bombers and gunships for now. That will be more than enough. Production underway. I shouldn't actually make this many right now. I'm just gonna make, I think, another. Actually, no, uh, just one more. Just one. I think we get a couple of elite fighters. Oh, dude, we can see this missile. The Vader frigates have been destroyed. That's pretty awesome, actually. Group two. Group two reporting. The Vader carrier is retreating. It must be destroyed before it can escape. Well, best of luck to you, Vader carrier. Group two standing by. I, I think you'll be dead by the time you turn around. Group two reporting. Defensive perimeter set.
Oh, maybe not quite. Don't worry, we have the Sobani fleet coming in. Group one standing by. So this game actually does auto collect resources at the end of every mission, which is good. And we're done. Strike group moving into position. The Vega carrier has been destroyed. Ready. Confirm. Fleet, this is Captain Soban. The homeworld system will soon be overrun by Vega forces. Their objective is to capture the mothership. You must get the pride of Higara out of here. The enemy will follow, and in doing so, you will buy the homeworld some time. Soban, out. Captain Soban's mission will be to track down the location of the Vega leader. His fleet has been dispatched. He will remain in contact with us. The hyperspace effect is actually pretty cool. Well, now we just group two. Now we just Docking get to be bored and wait for all the uh, group one standing by. Docking all these things to all these bishops to dock, I guess. No research yet, so. Also, our gunships are good against uh, hermits and frigates. Weak against capital ships. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll make some pulsar. Uh, is it gunships or pulsar gunships that I like to make? I don't know. I'll make two Production pulsar underway. gunships too. I mean, they're both weak against capital ships, so it's the same same problem every time, I guess. Might as well make something, I guess. Group one reporting. But we do like bombers. Bombers are fa fabulous. They're the best. Docking signal green. Oh, look, there's some blood holes on it or something. Confirmed. Wait, only only Bishop One has docked. All the other bishops have not docked. And I think all of them are alive, aren't they? Ship squadron complete. All right, well, guys, this is gonna take a while, I think. So I'm gonna just like fast forward everything, assuming that guy docks properly. Does not ram my mothership? Who the fuck's at the wheel? Like a blind guy? Damn. But again, I, I it worked on Star Trek, so actually, we're gonna see one of them dock. Holy, ooh. Ooh, these maneuvers. No. No. Don't don't go that way. Okay, good. I guess it's not the last four people, so it's okay. Still that container block. Alright, well, how's it gonna dock? Crew transport docked. That, that that's docking? Research staff and science teams transferring. New research options available. You call that docking? Alright, let's see. Bombers will upgrade their speed, I guess, and I don't know quite when I want to build here. I haven't decided yet. I guess I'll see their. I'll judge their effectiveness uh, for myself. Crew transport docked. Sensor crews transferring. Mothership sensor systems are now operating at full capacity. Was it not before? I guess it wasn't. Group two copies. Oh. Reporting. Group one reinforced. Actually, you know what? I, I don't need Pulsar gunships, really, because I have bombers. Group two standing by. Group two, I, I think gunships are just fine one. for corvettes and shit, so. Alright, we saw Bishop 5 and Bishop 6, which are extremely slow, so. Holy shit! What am I looking at? <laughs> Dude, this is like 
shitty freeway driving. <laughs> Stay in your own lane, tra crew transport. Fuck. But, like, I like how it just wiggles. You know what? I, I remember from World War II, these were not exactly the most bug free ships. Dude, this is still Transport 3. What the hell is he still doing? Oh, he's still trying to dock. Is it like glitched out? Because they're like, they're both trying to dock at the same time. This is the uh, epitome of Gearbox programming, guys. But. Okay, so this guy cut. This guy is not moving anymore. He cut his engines. I, I don't. Can this guy even dock? Like these are these are not controllable by me. I can't do anything here. What the fuck am I looking at? Like, this is literally not within my control, guys. Okay, finally it looks like he's actually doing the dock. Oh god, no, he's coming back again. They're, they're like fighting for like the docking spot. Or, no, is it the Harvesters? It must be the Harvesters. I'm gonna tell them to stop. Roger. Coordinates confirmed. Standing by. En route. Cause, like, Bishop 6 is coming, I think it's gonna be the same problem. Cause I think they keep trying to move out of the way. That's fucking stupid. Holy shit. And at this point, I'm just playing the game for the entertainment to see how they fuck this up. Because I really do like this game, like uh, Homeworld 2. Like, it wasn't everybody's cup, a cup of tea, crew but... transport docked. Engine and power plant crews transferring. Engine performance increased to normal levels. Oh yeah, in this game the mothership can actually move. But I'm not going to do that now, because I can see that these ships are having enough tr trouble docking as it is. Crew transport docked. Elite fighter pilots transferring. Elite bomber squadrons launching from mothership. Roger. So these elite bomber squadrons have like more damage and slightly more health, which is pretty good. Uh, I I think I remember making a lot of gunships though, but uh, I don't know if I'll be making that this time because uh, the balance is very different um, as I've learned uh, from the last game. So. Um, I think I'll do it anyways. We're gonna research the gunship stuff. Seems good. Crew transport docked. Elite Corvette crews transferring. Elite Corvette squadrons launching from mothership. Ah, uh, they're gunships. Yep, they're gunships. Which is pretty good. I like gunships. Yep, both gunships. So that's your reward for saving more than one, or more than the f required four. Crew transport returning to base. We cannot allow the mothership to fall into enemy hands. Coordinate set for the Serum system. There, we will regroup our forces and mount a counteroffensive. All ships, stand by for hyperspace. Alright guys, hope you're enjoying so far, and I'll see you guys uh, next episode. Take care, bye.